We are live. Hello. Another edition of talking, rocking, and water sporting, and motorcycling, and ATVing, and all that fun stuff. With JP, I'm JP. I'd like to bring in Jeff and Mike Miss uh, Nielsen Enterprises in Lake Villa. Hi, guys. Hi, how are you? First of all, I'm great. I wanted to congratulate you on 50 years. Nielsen, 50 years. Was that 2020 or 2021? Uh, it was actually 2019, so now we're on 52. Oh, okay. We've been it's really milking. Years. That's incredible. Yeah, thank and you very not. much. 50 years, I mean, that's a big milestone. And I, I you, know, you know, we'll get to the, we'll one get thing, to the water. Can I, can I say one thing to that? If we're going to yeah. talk about our 50 years, I can't do it without the community support and all of our customers. And so I want to say Absolutely. thank you to everybody out there. And I, I, you know, I, we'll get to the, the sports and the water sports and all that, but I wanted to ask you, how did Nielsen start? Like, was it your grandparents or your dad? Where did it all begin? Uh, it was my dad. We were uh, started in an old abandoned gas station. Uh, and his first office was a men's room with a door over the sink and the toilet. Wow. Where yeah. was that? It was at 10 West Grand, which is now Timothy O'Toole's restaurant here in Lake Villa. Okay. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, then you moved to the current location on uh, 83. 19 ish or so. I don't know. I was only nine or eight uh, at that point in time. Right. So and we opened the Marine Center here about seven or eight years ago. So, Have you expanded Marine Center? It looks way bigger than I remember. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, we used to warehouse out of here and built all of our stuff here. And then okay. uh, the building came up for sale, so we've been slowly remodeling it and doing it. And uh, it's worked out good because the marine business for us has gotten so big. Our power sports business was always big, but the marine business got even bigger, so we needed a bigger facility. So um, so that's why we opened this. So what do you mean marine business? Like, are you doing more than the personal watercraft and the jet boats and all that? Is there more to it? Um, no, our personal watercraft and jet boats is our is our forte. You know, we're all about jet power here at Nielsen Enterprises. And so um, do we just do so many Yamaha boats. You know, Yamaha makes boats up to 27 feet now. Our sea do business and wave runner business and jet ski business has gotten just really big. You know, our customer base is so big. And the most important part is service. And then this way we can offer storage also. We can store people's stuff for them. You know, the other facility we were at was never set up to be that. So, you know, it works better for motorcycles and other things. Okay. Um, also wanted to say our session today with Jeff Wilson and Mike Missick at Nielsen Enterprises brought to you by BRP Sea-Doo, personal watercraft. See the complete line of Sea-Doo, personal watercraft at com. N-I-E-L-E-S-E-N. S.com, Nielsen.com. You can always call Jeff too at 847-356-3000 if you have any questions or just stop in the showroom. So the the, water, the personal watercraft showroom is still the same. You, you got all the motorcycles and stuff in the in the main building, and then this building is still where it was before? Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, going on? Okay. 130 South Milwaukee Avenue for Power Sports, <laughs> and then we're the Marine Center is about a, uh, an hour, a mile, <laughs> a mile yeah. north. Uh, mile north of our original location. So the Marine Center, that's the one which would be on the east side of 83? Correct. A little bit farther north? Is it yes. yes. Yeah, very good. What yeah. Do you get, okay, what do you guys do out of that building? Go ahead. That's where all the PWCs, the P, anything Marine related comes out of this, out of the one north of uh, of uh, Grand. So the PWCs, the, the okay. water, all the Marine stuff, the service, storage, um, anything to do with the water, you're going to come up here. Where we sell all Is the seats. Where you guys are right now? Correct. Yep. Yes. Okay. Got it. All right. But it looks so different. I'm like, wow, that place looks huge. It All is. Right. And then, Jeff, are, are you your main offices now? Or are you still doing the the other one? You know, um, I, you know, being Jeff <laughs> Nielsen, uh, I I'm involved in every aspect of the business. Yeah. But yeah, my primary office is here at the Marine Center, and then. Uh, you know, but I still am highly involved in snowmobiles and motorcycles and ATVs too. So I, I do okay. wear a lot of different hats. How's your dad? Doing? Ah, he's doing great. As a matter of fact, uh, we did another uh, radio uh, bit a little bit ago and he walked right in. He's like, hey, who are we talking to? So he's <laughs> nice. still working every day. He's here all the time. So that's awesome. All right. Well, tell him I said hi. I will I get my butt in there to see you guys. Yeah, it's been a while. I would um, like to have you come by. Yeah. Also, I wanted to mention we got a $100 gift card 
Uh, in a few minutes, we're going to give you a chance to win that. Um, so hang on for details on that. Also, if you want to comment, we'd love to see your toy, whether it's a boat, watercraft, snowmobile, motorcycle, a Jeep. You might recognize Mike there from uh, Jeeps on the Run, the event they do in December every year. Awesome event. How many Jeeps did you guys have this year? Hundreds. Yeah, almost 700, yep. 700 Jeeps. That was awesome. Yep. And uh, it's all for a great cost. Toys for Tots. I know you guys raised a ton of money and brought a bunch of toys for kids in uh, Chicagoland. So, and we should give it. We should give a. I know this is our spot. We should give a shout out to Ray uh, Chevrolet on that too, because they were a big supporter. Right. Of- yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah. Chevrolet. They did a great job. Yeah. So. Good guys over and, there, Mark and yeah, Ray. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. Um, yep. Let's see. We've got a score um, page. Uh, for PwC, so check out uh, PwC Chain Gang. We had a PwC group last year. We had over 150 uh, PwCs out on the Fox uh, Fox Waterway. So oh, no, awesome. got to check out took, that. Took it was over crazy. the entire chain. It was it was yeah. really fun. And then so, what do you guys do? Is it just you're just driving around together? We did a event called Loop the Lakes. So we started out at um, very cool the lake, the lake House Restaurant, and we looped back to Lake House, and uh, just a good. You know, just a good fun ride, and um, we gave away some Nielsen gift cards and some some swag last year at that event. So, you can check out the Nielsen Facebook page as well as the uh, uh, PwC Chain Gang Facebook page for updates on that kind of stuff too. We'll we'll do another one this season as well. Do we know yeah, do you have a date for this one yet, or I don't yet. We'll, one out. So yeah, have uh, like our Facebook pages, and uh, you can follow there for sure. But there's always other smaller rides throughout the year as well. You know. It was that a charity run too, you said, or was that just? That was not. That was just a a real easy, straightforward, just, you know, getting people together. And uh, Nielsen's was generous enough to, they donated some gift cards and some, uh, some back, you know, some bags and stuff like that. So it was turned out to be a pretty good event. That was just for fun. Awesome. Look forward to doing that again this year. I'm going to have to get on one of those runs that you do. Um, Let's see. So, um, yeah, I wanted to make sure. Ten minutes again. If you have a favorite motorcycle or uh, personal watercraft or a jet boat or anything, we'd love to see your pictures. Just post them in the comments. Everybody's got a picture of their favorite toy on their phone, you know. So That's just, right. Uh, throw a comment on it to see it. Um, hey Jeff. Also, I want to ask you about. Remember the uh, jet races on Lake Michigan that you guys used to do? Yeah, I sure Back do. But in the nineties. Yeah. And yeah, what hap- Whatever happened to that event? You know, um, we know? So what, so, yeah, I do know. Um, so they're still doing, and we still are involved in racing. You know, uh, we have uh, Ryan Rathmussen, who we help out, and then um, a few other riders out there. And uh, but that <laughs> event itself, the it kind of went away because of the state and the state park, um, you know, without okay. getting into a lot of details. But, no, they, they still hold a race up in Racine, too, up by you guys. And they're actually asking us for sponsorship on that event. So it's out there. It's definitely out there. I think personal watercraft, though, kind of went through a little renaissance, though, where it, it was, it was kind of young. It was a young guy's mm-hmm. sport. and It was real racy, you know, and with loud pipes and all this other. And then right. once we disrupted all the lakes and got everybody mad at us, um, we kind of took a turn and made it was much more family orientated now with quiet units and three seaters. And so I don't know if racing still has that kind of punch like it had, but there's definitely a whole big racing group out there. So my God, I don't okay. want to offend right now. And, and we're definitely <laughs> right, part right. of that. I'm just twitching so, right now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it was a great time, though. I would kind of miss it. I would like to see I something like that come back again. Yeah. I was looking at some old pictures from that. It was so cool. So I want to ask you, within the last five to ten years, what are some of the advances that these personal water apps have gone through? Because I rode on one last year, and it was like driving a Cadillac on the water. Yeah. I just couldn't believe how smooth it was. I'm going to let Mike answer because he just recently bought a new sea and we're here because of sea today, and I want him to tell everybody how much he loves it. So go ahead, you answer. So, I mean, to your point, like, so I, I came from the last time I rode was, you know, a decade ago, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, yeah. right? So you take everything you remember from that and kind of throw it away, in my opinion, and you get on these new ones. And I personally a sea owner myself, so RXTX 300, and it's got more power than you could ever imagine. But they, like you said, they ride like Cadillacs. You know, you're on this rough water, and you you don't even know it. You know, you've got your stereo. You you you're not even wet. You know, everything. You, if you don't want to get wet, you can go on your watercraft yeah. well for the day and systems. stay dry. And so, how do they evolve? You know, the, there's still are there still two strokes? No, nah. 
you know, so there's no more mixing oil. There's no more smell. You know, they start in neutral. You you, you control everything with your fingers, you know, <laughs> uh, and brakes. You know, mine will go from 70 to zero probably faster than some cars on the road, you know. So it's the, the technology advancements and the programming, cruise control, uh, you know, the launch modes, automatic trim systems, Bluetooth audio. You can go on forever on, on what these things have now. And it's yeah. it's incredible. And there's literally... There's there's a machine for every rider and every every intent that that rider has, you know. Yeah, I remember the first one I drove. This has got to be 15 years ago, and we got it from you guys. It was a giveaway, and it was a three seater, and that thing it was like we had people on it, and it was just like the most comfortable ride. And then this year I drove one that was just like a two seater, and that thing was a like it like I said, it felt like a Cadillac. And then I wanted to ask you about. Uh, is there a speed limit on the chain for these things? At night, but you can't bait out at night on a PWC yeah. anyway. So the answer is that is no. No watercraft yeah. at night. No, you can't drive one at night? No. No. Manufacturers okay. and enterprises don't endorse that. And that's when the speed limit comes okay. in on the chain. Otherwise, no. Got but it. there are certain bodies. So, we, hey, John, I want to just say one thing about that. There. So to everybody out there is listening – you know, know before you go, know your body of water you're going to, know what makes you legal, make sure you have all the safety equipment that you need to go out there and do it. I mean, those are really important things. And if you have any questions to anybody, whether you bought it at another dealer or not, feel free to call us and ask us because we want to make sure everybody's out there enjoying power sports safely. Especially new people like, you know, I don't, I'm not a, a big boater. And so I'm out there that I probably broke some rules I didn't even know about just because I'm sure there's a ton of different guidelines and rules on the chain. And there's boating safety that, classes too, you know, that are great yeah. for new boaters. Yeah. Take them. Yeah. They're right yeah. online. You know, yeah. Um, I, yeah. I'll just give you a quick story. I sold a gentleman a boat last year. We're going through his boat and I started talking about port and starboard and no wake zones. And he just looked at me with this blank face. And I yeah. literally, I literally told him, you're not going to boat today. And he, yeah. he's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, you need to take a boating safety course. You need to educate yourself before you go to the water and do this. This is very, very important. So, and he did, to his credit, he did. He, yeah. he thanked me for it. So that's my biggest advice I can give everybody out there is make sure you're safe. You know, we want yeah. to yeah. enjoy the sport and make sure everybody else can too. If you know what you're I doing too, it takes all the out of being at the boat launch and not knowing, did I put my drain plugs in? Did I do this? It takes all that out of it. So know what you're doing before you get to the launch and well, it's we going to make through, for a better day. We try to run through all that, but you know, even the more you can fill yourself up, you know, with YouTube now and all that, it's just a great thing to do. There is ever a sweet spot right before the bridge going from south to north by Blarney. It's calm there on an off day and uh, yeah. yeah. It's a really smooth ride. <laughs> I like the lower river on a calm day. It's no, no, no wake zones, and you go from right Franklin all the way up and back and forth. With it's it, that's a fun one on a nice, uh, nice Saturday morning, nine yeah. o'clock, without the skiers out yet. Yeah, I went out on a Wednesday, like ten o'clock in the morning, and it was perfect. There you go. It was a, a couple areas where it was a little bumpy because it was a little windy, but like I said, that area was like glass. Yep, it was pretty wild. Just for the record, oh. white. Out riding, I was working. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's on that's on you. You gotta come out. I mean, I see all those <laughs> boats back there. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> um, will there ever be an electric personal watercraft? Ooh, uh, am I allowed to talk about that? Let's put it to you this way. Um, there's plans from uh, a couple manufacturers. Yes, there are. They're 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 working on electric watercraft. Okay. Yes. I mean, that's where everything's going. You look at the vehicles, the application on, you know, on all the vehicles. I think it, I think that regardless of the manufacturer, I think if there, some people could just get forced into it personally, you know, be interesting right. to see what yeah, happens. Yeah, I agree. Um, so let's take a moment to just invite everybody to share their toy on the comments. Um, you know, whether you want to share a personal watercraft, motorcycle, a snowmobile, um, or whatever you have, I'd love to see them in the comments. And uh, also don't forget, keep checking Nielsen's.com. And is it Nielsen's on Facebook for the, uh, for the yep. uh, run uh, this summer? Yep, on Facebook, Jets like this on Facebook, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, and then also the 95th texter right now, this number is 68255. Uh, just text the number 68255 and put PWC. Is that it right, Wayne? Yep, PWC? personal watercraft. Yeah. 
PWC. That's all you got to put in the area. 68255 PWC. The 95th texter will win a $100 gift card to Nielsen. So, and they can use that for whatever, right, Jeff? Yeah, whatever. Um, please, yeah, you know, accessories, the service department. Okay. Uh, or to put it towards the purchase of your new CDU. Let's talk about service for a little bit. So I know there's some guys that have been working there forever in the service department. And yeah. the longevity of Nielsen's just in general. I mean, you talked about customer taking care of your customers and, and thanking all the customers over the years. You don't stay in business as long as you guys have without superior service um, and, uh, you know, customer service in selling and in the shop too. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things going on back in the service department and when is a good time to bring in uh, something for repairs. So with all the snow that we had, Power Sports, uh, the service department, they were they they ran at a pretty heavy clip all winter. We we had a, a matter of fact, we had a, a little bit of a problem uh, a couple times. But I, I just want to tell everybody out there in COVID nineteen days, um, please schedule and do stuff as early as possible. Uh, you know, as your dealership, uh, we've been trying really hard, but sometimes parts are just hard to get. Uh, things hit our service department, they get tied up longer than we want to tie them up for because of the supply chains are still messed up. So the earlier you do your service, the more you get ready early, especially for the water, you definitely want to do that. And yes, to the credit, John, you 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 know our business so well because we've known you for so long. Um, I'm very blessed with some of our technicians and the longevity that they've been with us. And we're very, they're very proud about what they do. You know, we have some guys that have been here 25, 32, 38 years, uh, and they, they're, they're truly masters at their craft. They do a great job. Yeah. Um, let's see, I wanted to ask you something about the, uh, oh, the 2020. Okay. So the beginning of the pandemic, nobody really knew what was going to happen, but your business just boomed because everybody wanted to be on the water and do things, you know, that they could do with their family, but, you know, not go to a concert or whatever. So I know that the, uh, the motorcycle business and the uh, personal watercraft business just boomed. Were you guys ready for that? Or did you have enough time to gear up and have the inventory or what happened back in spring of last year? Um, well, I am end of March, uh, when everything was, uh, you know, they're locking us all down and we're doing everything and, um, and, and, and from our houses, I wondered how we were going to sell the inventory that we had. Um, and then it went, did that to a complete 180 uh, to we were just working uh, uh, really long hours and uh, and just the inventory flew out. But yet the manufacturers, because they were shutting down this, uh, production lines, they couldn't meet production. So they were cutting our inventory. Demand was going through the roof and it was. It was frantic, like a frenzy. There was a, it was almost like we were a nightclub. There was a line waiting to get in the showroom yeah. out of the door. So I was taking people water in the parking lot because I felt bad they were standing out in the heat. You know, oh. it was, it was just, uh, and and then we're off to that same kind of start again this year too. Um, you know, but if there's one good thing that came out of COVID, I, I I've said this before, but if there's one good thing that came out of it. Families are definitely, this is a family orientated sport and the fact that they can go out and enjoy it as a family, it was a good time. I mean, I, I, one gentleman bought a boat and he said, because he bought the boat, he got to know his daughter better. Um, yeah. I mean, that, to me, that's a huge compliment. I'm like, wow, that's pretty awesome. You know, I mean, you know, the yeah. guy got, he hung out with her on the boat all summer. So, and we've got what 30% increase of new people, brand new sales, never was, been in the, power never did anything power sports, 30%. That's, you know, that's, that's huge. You know, people are like, well, we're at home. We're not mm -hmm. traveling. Let's get on the water. Let's get out on the elements, whatever the case, you know, so 30% right. increase of new, you know, new people out there. Now, how, is, how are the lakes and the chain dealing with that? Because that's a lot of people, right? <laughs> so personally, I, the, 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 you could, you could feel it out there. And I think I'm probably not the only one to contest to that, but I'm sure the FWA has numbers on how many extra, you know, waterway stickers were sold, but, um, the weekends were busy, you know, you know, and, and back to boating safety, you know, if you're, if you're a new person, uh, right. the chain's a perfect idea of why have, having that boating safety is, uh, is, is important because the chain's a, it's a busy waterway on a, on a Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon, yeah. you know. And can I, can I say one thing about that for all the people that are out there that were already involved in boating and involved in personal watercraft, 
be patient with the yeah, new people. We were, we were all there. We all there. remember when you first wrote it and somebody had to show you what to do. Yeah. So let's be embrace everybody and, and let them enjoy our sport the way we enjoy it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. One You're thing I did this year, which I never <laughs> oh, go ahead. We've all made mistakes out there, you know, so rather than oh, yeah. you, know, you see someone make a mistake, they call them out on some Facebook page, you know, just like back to Jeff, just embrace everyone that's just out there. A little bit nicer. Yeah. Tom. Yeah. As a non boater one thing I learned this year is how many peers are on chain <laughs> or I mean, uh, yeah, like peers, different, um, what do they call them? Peers. Yeah. They can't add any more. So if, if somebody is giving up a peer yeah. or if they want to sell it to somebody else, but you can't just. Businesses and owners can't just go add more peers and put more boats on there. It's yeah, that's awesome. Whatever's cool. on there. Army Corps of Army Engineers. Army Corps of Engineers, yeah. That was done a long time ago, John. They've been doing that yeah. for a while. No, I know, but I just that was one thing I learned over the summer last yeah. year. And I, True. I, just, yep. I never really thought about it, but, yeah, it makes sense because you can't overcrowd the lakes either because you're going to have chaos. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, let's switch gears a little bit. Talk about motorcycles and snowmobiles and ATVs and what's uh, what's going on on the other side of the store. So that store, the the South Building, as we call it, which has got our, um, we'll start there. It's got the snowmobiles and ATVs side by sides. That building's usually got a pretty good uh, rotation all year, just because you know it's got a little bit of something for every season. But snowmobile season, in my opinion, started out a little sn little slow, right? We didn't have as much snow as we were expecting, and then and then it was a great season. And then I mean, yeah. they were grooming the trails locally in McHenry. We had people that weren't even you didn't even have to go up north. I can't remember the last time they groomed the trails locally. And a shout out incredible. to the snowmobile clubs. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. All that hard work you guys always yeah. do. <clears throat> People were coming in and they were raving about it. And anything we can do to support the clubs, please come yeah. find us. Thank you. And to that point, if you're not part of a club, you know, join, join a one. club. You know, you always you always yeah. get these guys. Well, well, it doesn't snow here anymore. Well, without the clubs, when it does snow, there are no trails. Yeah, everybody you know, who so. enjoyed riding this year, remember yeah. what they did for you because you went out there and enjoyed it and they could use the help. There's years that we've marked trails and they never got snow, but, you know, it's part of the club. So. But yeah, so snowbill, in my opinion, snowbill season really uh, it took off once we got that that first that freeze, and then it. I mean, we had the, the trails were open for what over a month. That's that's unheard of locally, you know. It was like an old fashioned snowstorm, like from the seventies when yeah. we were growing up, you know. Yeah. It was like when I was growing, I used yeah. to say the same thing, John. Yes. It's just that was a winter like I remember, Correct. you know. Right. So. Yeah, we finally yeah. got one. I love winter. Like, where's my favorite season? So, well, if we're gonna have winter, let's it. have snow. Yes. Correct. Right. Exactly. Let's have a good snow. Um, and so with the snowmobiles, obviously, how about the motorcycles? What about last spring? Was it kind of the same thing where people are like, I'm getting on a bike because I can't do anything else. Yeah. All of it. And, and, yeah. and uh, to that note, uh, I don't know how much everybody's up on current events, but there's ships off the coast of California that can't get into port to unload product. Um, you know, and, and so yeah, everything, all product, all parts, everything are really tight right now. So uh, man, if you're if you're one of the lucky people to get something, congratulations. I mean, it's it's tough out right. there, right? If you're thinking about a watercraft or a boat or whatever for that matter, it's not too early to start. No, you want to get on it. Yeah, it's yeah. now is the time. Snowmobiles or I'm sorry, uh, motorcycles are going to be really lean. Um, all the all the like Yamaha, Honda, and Kawasaki, they're having um, supplier problems. So in preseason, uh, snow check is going to be uh, two weeks shorter this year, right? Yeah, we've so, we're, we're, we've been doing quite a few snowmobiles too already. Yeah, for next year, for next year, right? Yeah, for next season. For next year. So right now, though, if you want, somebody wants to buy a motorcycle or a personal watercraft, come see guys now because, like you just said, they're going to be gone by the time yep. the summer weather is here. Yeah. And John, that's no sales pitch. Yeah. I, you know, I no, it I is. Know. It's it's lean. It's everything's and lean. Every other year, I would say that's a sales pitch, but this year, I mean, after what happened last year. And I heard so many people complaining, I can't even get a bike or whatever. You got to get yeah. it now, otherwise you're going to be SOL. Bicycle, exercise yeah, equipment, office. Yeah, all that. Yep. Try to go out and try to buy a swimming pool. Yeah. Sorry to the swimming yeah, pool same people. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, one more time. Uh, if you text PWC to 68255, 95th Texture, oh, we might have already got the 95th, but uh, 95th Texture, 68255. Just PWC, you got a chance to win a $100 gift card in Nielsen Enterprises. Nielsen's.com is the website. 
847-356-3000. Jeff Nielsen, Mike Missick, one more plug for Mike's Jeep Club. Jeep's on the run. You guys do an awesome job. Go look uh, Mike's Facebook page. Uh, I'm also part of the Jeep community, and we're all a big family. We help each other. So, um, and you know, yeah, congratulations, point, Mike. The thank you and congratulations on your Jeep event as well. But uh, to that point too, you know, the, the Jeep family is much like the Power Sport family too. You know, it's it's kind of its own yeah. cult in, in a way too. The same with the PWCs and snowmobilers. So it's they go hand in hand. It, it really does. Yeah. So cool. you know, it's kind of, it's kind of that. that same lifestyle, if you will. So and be sure hey, to like our. To- Wilson Enterprises for uh, multi- for events that we're going to have coming up this summer. Perfect. What's that, John? All right, you guys. Uh, one more time, I wanted to uh, thank our sponsor today and Jeff Nielsen, BRP Sea Dew Personal Watercraft. You can see the complete line of uh, the Sea Dew Personal Watercraft at Nielsen's.com or just stop in the showroom on Route 83 in Lake Villa. Anything else, you guys? No, thank you. Thanks for taking time. It's good seeing you again. Yeah, no, don't be too. Great seeing you. Come down and visit. I'm going to come see you this week. All right, good. All right. Thanks, great to see you guys. All right. Take care, yeah. guys. Bye bye.